How's it going everybody? It is Dennis and we're back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about my yield max ETFs earning. Of course, it's April 11th. The Yacht Ymax dividend has not been earned just yet, but we're going to go over the singular ETFs with the singular underlying stocks. We're going to go over the dividends earned, how many shares I'm holding, how much dividends per share was earned. Of course, I'm going to go over and show all my positions. Of course, I like being transparent as possible. So we're going to show all my positions, the percent of my portfolio, and if I'm down or up. But let's go ahead and get straight into it. Of course, I have created a new sheet that tracks just yield max ETFs. It has a lot of information on it. it has my shares, my dividend per share, and then how much I earned all of those dividend per shares for that uh, for that month. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Let's go ahead and clear all of it, and let's go to April. So it's April. We've earned our dividends. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So when it comes to TSLY, of course, it's going to be shares, dividends per share, and then how much we earned for that stock. So let's go ahead and look at it right now. So with shares, we earned 332. We had 332.21 shares, and of course, a little bit more, 21.43. And the dividends earned per share was 0.6841, or 68 cents roughly. And that earned us a total amount of income from TSOY of 227.27. Uh, so $227.27. Not that bad. We're going to go ahead and look after all these dividends. We're going to look at comparisons from previous months. But before we do that, let's move on to the next one. For AMZ, we were holding 203 shares and we earned a dividend of 69 cents or almost 70 cents if you round up. And we made a total of $141.49. For Apple, we had 119 shares or 119.71 shares. We earned a dividend or 38 cents or almost 39 cents and our aptly dividend paid out was 45 dollars and 91 cents for the 119 shares we hold now we look at gui for gui they finally have partial shares so we have 60.933 shares and our dividend received per share was 31 cents pretty much 30.99 and we received 18 dollars and 88 cents of course as mentioned before YMAX did not receive a dividend just yet. Uh, I do have 77.71 shares with YMAX and it is growing every single month. And we'll talk about why it's growing and how I'm growing it later on. And of course, there's no dividend payment. So there's no dividend payment yet for April. That's going to be coming next week, uh, which I'll go over in the monthly video. And of their grand total for April so far with just YMAX or yield max ETFs is $433.55. Now, before we go to my overall portfolio and how much of these shares take up my whole portfolio, let's look how they've done compared to previous months. So TSOY is underperforming compared to previous months, and that is expected because Tesla, the underlying, is going down. Even though right now it is holding a balance at roughly $175, $170 for the underlying stock Tesla, uh, but we are holding so far at, uh, at a decent 200 after the split. As you can see, we had the split over here in February, and so far we've been holding around the same area of 200. Uh, also, I did uh, make a mistake, I guess you could say. I was taking out the TSLY funds and I was not reinvesting, but that has changed in the new year. I am now doing 50-50 split, so 50 reinvested and 50 into other funds. But anyways, $227 compared to 262 is roughly like, what, $30, $40 lower. So it is a little bit disappointing, but we'll see what happens in the next month. Uh, since Tesla is slowly trending upwards. With AMZ, AMZ is actually a really good uh, ETF from Yieldmax ETF. And I'm very glad I'm invested in it. Not only has a dividend growth, of course, with the share growth, uh, and not only has it stayed stable, uh, but also AMZ as the NAV has grown itself. The NAV of AMZ has grown as well. Uh, we received $141.49, higher than last month, higher than the month before. Uh, when it comes to Apple, Apple is another good yield max ETF that's been holding its ground. Of course, it's had low months such as February of 2024, which paid $19.99. But before that, with January at 62, March we had 48, and now we have 45.91. So it's pretty good. It did go lower compared to the previous month, but still an overall good payment as well because Apple, the underlying, did fall a little bit. Uh, but we'll see. It's trending upwards as well today. So that's also good news. With GUI. This is another good stable one, and with only having 60 shares, I don't mind these payments. We had 1379, 25, 27, 1532, and now for the month of April, we have $18.88. So it is trending upwards. Of course, we added like barely a share, but still the dividend per share was higher for this month compared to the previous month. So we did get a higher payment. 
and of course yield max etf uh the y max etf has not paid just yet so we're still waiting on that one if we look at overall payments from the grand totals 49 491 for january 442 for february 468 for march and 433 for april so april has been our lowest paying month from the yield max etfs but that is without ymax if ymax pays me roughly 20 dollars, then we will beat february's payment and if it pays higher than 20 dollars, then we might actually beat march payment we won't beat january but january is a very good month so that would probably be hard to beat and of course you have all the numbers down below this is for part of my new sheet so with the new sheet we can see that so far for 2024 we have earned a thousand ninety five dollars and seventy four cents for amz we have earned four hundred seventy four dollars and sixty six cents for Apple, we have earned $177.42. For GUI, we have earned $73.27. And for YMAX, with only one dividend payment so far, we have earned $14.77, giving us a grand total of $1,835.85. Of course, this is not a grand total such in cash. This is, of course, reinvested back into these ETFs. And that, on that note, let's go ahead and take a look at our positions. So with TSOY yield year to date, we are down 35.60%, but so is the underlying Tesla. Uh, we are down roughly 40.97% on my own position. My average share is a little bit high at 26.29, but I am slowly averaging down. Uh, and like I mentioned before, I have 339 shares and my portfolio diversity is at 12.78% for TSLY. Let's look at AMSI. And like I mentioned before, the NAV for AMSI, there has been growth. And so far year to date, it has grown 11.09%. I am up 15.93% on my position on AMZ or $661 if you round up the 99 cents. And my average cost is $20.44 and my portfolio diversity is 11.68. With Apple, we are down 11.41%. I am down 13.63% on my per, uh, position on Apple. That's negative 346 like it just updated since the market is still live. And my average cost is 1968 and it's 5.25% of my portfolio. GUI is, of course, uh, it's it's kind of stable. It's it's down negative 3.52% for the year to date, but it is trending upwards as we can see. Uh, I'm down negative 3.47% on GUI, $42.31 to be exact in cash. My average cost is $18.20 and it's 2.86% of, of my portfolio. And lastly, YMAX, even though it hasn't paid a dividend just yet, we still are going to go over it. YMAX is up 2.77% or $45.39 for my position. Year to date, it is up 9.54%. And my average cost is $21.11. And my portfolio diversity is 4.09%. YMAX is an ETF I have mentioned before, which seems to be very good. Uh, of course, it hasn't been open for too long. It's, it's only been open for three or going on four months. Uh, so we've yet to learn how this will perform long term. We'll see after a year how it's performing. But so far, it is trending upwards with the market. Uh, and that's pretty good. If it keeps beating, it's uh, uh, if it keeps growing every month by roughly 3%, we will beat the dividends that we are paid out. So usually dividends, since our dividend payment right now is roughly 35%. If it stays at 35%, that's roughly 2 to 3% paid out a month. Meaning if we grow at 3%, we'll, be pay get, pay we'll get paid either less or at how much we grew, meaning we would either stay stable with the NAV price or we go a little higher than what the dividend is. So we'll see what happens with that. That is all my positions with yield max ETFs. But there's one last thing I have to add. I have I just made this little area right here where I show how much I split my money. Of course, like mentioned before, TSOY and AMZ are my highest portfolio uh, holdings when it comes to yield max ETF. So TSOY was 12.79% and AMZ was 11.68%. Since they are so high in portfolio holding, uh, I want to kind of lower them down to maybe 10% levels. I tried to uh, diversify by 10% in every single fund that I own or every single stock that I own. So since TSOY is 12%, I made $227.27. I split that into two, so 50% it goes into back into TSOY. And then I split that into three, and the $37.88 went into WiMAX, GUI, and Apple. Uh, and then the AMZ one, the AMZ one, I actually did not reinvest 50%, and you might be asking why. Well, because AMZ is up by 15.93%, or 11% year to date, uh, there's no point of me reinvesting 50% back in. I would be averaging up, not averaging down. So instead of averaging up, and increasing my average cost, I just would rather take out the dividends, 
And since the portfolio diversity is 11.67%, I'm okay to take down another 1.67% of this diversity of my portfolio. And I'll take that 1.67% and I'll put it into other funds. So that's what exactly what I did. I got $141.49, split into three of $47.16, added that with the TSLY earnings, and that gave me $85 into WiMAX, $85 into GUI, and $85 into Appley. Of course, AMZ got zero, and Tesla got the $113.63, the 50% reinvested back into it. So that has been my dividend earnings from YieldMax ETFs. Of course, WiMAX has not paid out just yet. Uh, we will see what the YMAX payments are soon. It'll be coming up next week from when this video is being posted. Hopefully they're pretty good. I'm assuming they're going to stay stable because the fund itself is growing uh, or staying stable at, at most times. So if it does continue to pay 35%, and I hope it does, then we'll continue to receive roughly 56 to 60 cent payments every single month. And I do not mind that whatsoever. Uh, of course, if we get to $100, then that'll be $50 payments every month. And the more it grows, uh, the more my shares grow, the more I'll get paid. So I really do not mind if it's able to hold and trend with the market. That'll be great to see from YMAX. Uh, and of course, we will see how much I earn from YMAX at the end of the month when I go over my whole portfolio and all the dividends and options earned. But before we end it here, what is my take for May? I always like giving my take for the next month. For May, of course, my shares will grow when it comes to Tesla. Uh, they will grow a little bit more. Uh, the dividend payments, I hope, will go back up. Uh, that is, of course, if the NAV goes back up and I think it will go back up and I hope it goes back up because Tesla is slowly trending upwards. And if TSLY and the managers of TSLY play this right, if they give us a little bit of growth potential, maybe 5% as they usually say they would give us, if they give us 5% of growth potential on the NAV, then we'll be able to grow maybe maybe 5, 10% this month, uh, depending on where Tesla goes. Of course, uh, Tesla, like I said, is trending upwards or is staying stable. And if it is able to continue that, then we could see a growth in the NAV of TSLY and therefore a growth in the dividends per share. And I don't think we're going to hit back to 300 numbers uh, very soon. We might hit $300 uh, mark for dividends maybe back in like, or maybe in October and November. But for May, I would say $240 is how much we might earn for May. Uh, for AMZ, I think we're going to stick around the same value, $140, $120 for Appley. That might go up because Apple is trending upwards right now. So Apple or Apple might pay maybe 45, maybe even $50 per GUI. Of course, we are reinvesting back into GUI. Uh, I think GUI is going to stay around the same mark as well. It's going to stay below $20. If it goes above $20, that'll be great. Uh, but it's going to stay between the $10 and $20 mark. And for YMAX, what do I think I'm going to get from YMAX this month? Well, this month, like I said, for April, I'm pretty sure it's going to be around the 56 cent mark or maybe the 60 cent mark. Uh, and of course, we're going to get around $20 for this. Uh, and then for May, since we're going to reinvest more money and uh, reinvest the TSY and AMZ funds into YMAX, then I feel like for May, it's going to go up to maybe $25 or $30 uh, dividend payment. But we'll have to see, of course. Uh, but that's how much I think I'll earn from yield max ETFs when it comes to uh, May. That's how much I earned for April. And of course, I think the grand total for May, it might get close to the January level, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Depends where the market goes, what the news is, and if interest rates get cut. That's the most important part, if interest rates get cut. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. That has been my earnings from Yield Max ETFs for April, of course, without WiMAX, earning $433.55. With WiMAX, it's probably going to be around $450, $460. So... That is it. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. The next one is going to be a little bit more detailed, a little bit more comprehensive video. We're going to be doing the green screen work, uh, our presentation type videos. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And thank you everybody so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next week.